Hi, my name is Bill Stumpfig. I'm a volunteer with the South Jersey chapter of the Surfrider Foundation. And the Surfrider Foundation has an ocean-friendly gardens program that we build rain barrels for. This is an example of a finished rain barrel, all hooked up to a downspout of a house. And we're gonna go through the entire process from raw rain barrel to painting, to installing, to putting in the fixtures. And we're gonna show you how to do all that stuff, start to finish. We're going to show you now how we cut the top off of the barrel. Uh, my wife, Carol, is assisting. Again, we don't want any um, plastic in the environment, so we're gonna show you this. Takes about two minutes. We'll just show you real quick. Fire it up. After the barrel's been sanded, I primer it with um, Rust-Oleum oil base and I use a foam roller, good coat, and that assures the paint will stick to this barrel. We've had them out there for eight years now. And then we'll be ready for artwork. This is Carol working her magic on the barrel. This barrel will be various types of sharks and some other sea creatures thrown in. This is the heavy duty pet screen that we use to cover the top of the barrel to keep insects out. And we also have a nice big piece of bungee cord that holds it on. And then Carol cuts off the excess to make it look nice and pretty. Right, looking good. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to drill a hole in the bottom of the barrel. Then we'll put in the bulkhead fitting with the valve connected. Oops. Okay. And then the bulkhead fitting goes right through there. Tighten her up from inside the barrel. Voila! Okay, for the valve at the bottom we used an inch and a quarter. Here we're going to use a 15 16 inch spade bit, and this will be for the overflow. And this is for the overflow. You have a hose thread on one side, pipe thread on the other. Thread it through, and then we put a nut on the back sealed with silicone. These are the tools you need to turn your 55 gallon plastic barrel into a useful rain barrel. We have the sawzall, which is used to cut the top off the barrel. And then above that, we have the screening and the bungee cord. We have a cordless drill with an inch and a quarter hole saw for your bulkhead fitting. And into that, you screw your one inch valve. And below that, we have the overflow fitting, which you can connect a garden hose to, and that takes a 15, 16 inch spade bit. This is a completed rain barrel we've had outside for about five years now. As you can see, the water comes down from this downspout. Um, this barrel takes about an hour to fill up in a, just a gentle rain. This is the really good valve. As you can see, how much flow you get out of it. And we had to put an extra large overflow on this, which is back here. And this overflow goes down into the ground and it is diverted over to our bog garden. This is our ocean-friendly garden. It's part of a program by the South Jersey chapter of the Surfrider Foundation. This garden is great for keeping water in the ground where it belongs. We also use rain barrels, and the rain barrels we use to water the garden, and also it helps put the water right back in the ground with the principles of conservation, permeability, and retention and it also attracts lots of wildlife, so it's a really good thing for the environment and it helps keep the ocean really healthy.